Rock On with Rock Hard Riffs, the rock and roll guitar channel. the guitar channel for the self-talk. Today we're the keyboard channel and the Digitech Trio band creator plus looper. Okay, just uh, recently we had made a video with our little electronic drum set, our TD1K uh, Roland drum set. We plugged it into our Digitech Trio band creator plus looper just to see if we could teach the uh, drum machine part of this actual beats and things like that and it, it worked. It was pretty interesting. So I thought, okay, well, let's try keyboard and let's try bass guitar. So we're going to work with the keyboard here and then uh, with the bass guitar at the end of the video. So, all right, guys. So I had plugged that right into the thing right before I pressed record. I thought, okay, let's just, you know, just check it out using chords. Okay, so in a second here, we're going to just try single keys. see what happens with that. We're also going to try different genres and styles just to hear how that sounds. But this is pretty cool. It works. We plugged it in and this is the beat we get. the trio created. This is the bass guitar for it. So let's, I'm going to turn it up and I'll start it over. So it's going to start at this point. Okay, so here we go. bass part that's really really cool I think let's hear a few different styles of that before I go in and plug in something so let's turn that back on right now we're in the R&B setting so let's check out jazz setting with that beat okay so this is jazz Interesting. Let's try a different style. I'm going to start it from here and. Let's go ahead and let's go back into the R&B and I'm going to just use single keys.
see what we've got. See guys, Digitech Trio Band Creator Plus Looper takes drums and keyboards too. You can work those with it. All right, let's come back with the bass guitar. So let's try some Iron Man in it. Okay, so I'm going to clear out that last track. I'm going to put this on the metal setting, so we're on the heavy metal setting. It's ready to record, and here we go. Okay. Wow, thing took off like a rocket. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the bass. Let's turn that on again, and here we go. Let's try a little different, uh, little different style on that. That's nice. Okay, let's try that. And well, let's hear what kind of bass guitar came with that. See what it uh, see what it did. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So again, here is the bass. That's cool. Let's try it again. So we could like have a band of just bass players, <laughs> like Spinal Tap. So, but anyway, yeah, it takes the bass guitar too. Very, very cool. So you can learn different bass things. If you're a bass player, man, what, what a good tutorial this thing could be. Because sometimes the bass in this thing, as you can hear, can be kind of advanced and pretty darn cool. Definitely something worth looking into. Again, guys, we just did this kind of for fun to see if a keyboard and a bass would work with the Digitech Trio Band Creator, and it does. Just like we put our drum set into it, and that worked how crazy. And of course, we make just about all of our original music that has a drum beat with the Digitech Trio Band Creator. So that's just, it. this thing is just so cool. What a cool tool. I don't know how else to put it. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us. Hopefully you got something out of this. Please leave a comment. We'd really appreciate a comment. Let us know what you think. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you next video.